Alright, the last video already about adding and subtracting fractions and I hope you've seen all the videos about fractions before this one. Now I've promised you, uh, let's say a mixed number, 2, uh, 3 over 8. And let's take away, what shall we do, 1, 3 over 4. Okay? Now I've given you two methods um, to approach these questions involving mixed numbers. Um, and the first method was, well just leave it as a mixed number, so 2, 3 over 8 minus 1, 6 over 8. Yeah, are you able to do that now? Yeah, can you find that? The equivalent fraction, 3 over 4, 6 over 8, because those denominators have to be the same. Yeah, and I explained that in previous videos in more detail. But then in the end, 2, 3 over 8 minus 1, 6 over 8. Yeah, 2 minus 1, that is 1. But then 3 over 8 minus 6 over 8, then we're going into the negatives. And then some of you will get confused. So perhaps in this case, it would be wiser to use that other strategy I gave to you. Let's have a look. What did I say? I said, well, turn them into top-heavy fractions first. 2, 3 over 8 is the same as how much over 8? Yeah, 16, 19 over 8 minus 1, 3 over 4 is equivalent to 4, 7 over 4. Yeah, so first you convert them into top heavy fractions. I'm taking a new pen. Then you manipulate them that they have equal denominators. Well, their common multiple is 8. So 19 over 8, take away, multiply that one by 4. Uh, by 4, listen to me, by 2, of course. Thank you very much. 14 over 8. Yeah, so now those denominators are the same. So I've multiplied it by 2. Then I can work with them, and 19 over 8 minus 14 over 8, how many 8's do I have left? 19 minus 14, those are 5 eights. And can I simplify 5 eights? 5 over 8, no I can't, there's no common factor, okay? Now, that is my final answer. Now if you would have used this method, then you should have done the following. 2 minus 1, that is 1. But then I still have 3 over 8 minus 6 over 8. So the 1, if you like, are 8, eight, eh? eight over 8. And I still got to take away a minus 3 over 8. I'm just squeezing it in. Can you see that? So 2 minus 1 is 1. So I, call, I, 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 I manipulate that 1 into 8 over 8. And 3 over 8 minus 6 over 8 is minus 3 over 8. So 8 over 8 minus 3 over 8, 8 over 8 minus 3 over 8 is 5 over 8. Yeah, that's the same, of course, because it's the same question, all right? Two ways of solving the same problem, and yeah? just try to understand both of them, okay? Personally, in this particular case, I would go for this one, but I leave that completely up to you what you choose to do. Have a nice day.